On August 5, 2021, during the disembarkation of passengers from a routine flight, a 70-year-old passenger named John Lucky was approached by flight attendants. They requested that he adhere to safety protocols and properly wear his mask, but rather than oblige, Lucky began to cause a scene and even hit one of the flight attendants. Within minutes, authorities at the airport arrived to handle the escalating situation. However, upon being questioned about his actions, Lucky's reply was shocking. Lie! Absolute lie! I don't take lies, I don't take, I don't take bullshit crap from anyone. It's all on camera, sir. So we're going to pull the camera. If you hit that woman... Complete lie. Absolute lie. Do you hear me? That's a total lie. That's what we're looking into. That's why I'm asking you. Bo Matthews, my lawyer. What is it? So, like, all I know is he was very non-compliant. She did, my flight attendant told me earlier, but apparently when we were deplaning, he hit her He hit her hand and was yelling all over the place, and that's whenever he finally did walk off the airplane. But. What do you mean, hit her hand? She was like, you know, hey, just get off the airplane, and he was, like, smacking her hand or whatever. So I don't know if you want to talk to her. That's up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A male officer heads off for the flight attendant, who is the victim of Lauke's irrational behavior. She tells him that Lauke acted that way all through the flight and refused to oblige when she tried to calm him down. As a result, she says she wants to take further action against Lauke. The whole flight, he was just impossible, kept taking his mask mm -hmm. off. Then when he comes up here, he goes, well, where's my bag? I said, you stand out there. And he's got, I said, put your mask back on. Mm -hmm. He starts yelling in my face. I said, sir, put your mask back on. Then he hits me and everybody behind him. It's like, oh my God. And then they said he was terrible the whole time. How did he hit you? Some of that was power tripping. Okay, so what did he, how did he hit you? Did he what Just like you're standing there and I'm like, uh, sir, like put your mask on him? and he slaps my hand, yes. Just slaps it away? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What what do you want to do? I want to press charges. I'm sick of these people doing this thing to us. Okay. Well then he goes to jail now. Yeah, this this is what we're gonna do, sir. This flight attendant has decided she's going to press charges on you for battery. The so, big lie. All right, listen, what we want to do is we want to send the paperwork over to a judge and let a judge decide it, okay? If you don't choose that option, then you have to go to jail now. And then if you don't want to give us your name or ID or whatever, then we're going to have you fingerprinted so that we know who you are. Where else is there? There's nowhere to... Bring me to a table in the chair. All right. Move you to what? A table? A table in the chair. We don't have a table in the chair. Who's Julie? You say you're going to rent a car? Okay. Like the officer said, this is not a negotiation with you. If you do not give us your ID when we ask for it. After an officer informs Lucky that he is being sued and needs to give up his identification, he decides to pull a runner but he is quickly stopped in his tracks. Give me the bag. No, my bags are my bag. Now you're going to go to jail regardless. Where, where is your ID? Wrong. I have to be free. you got to get your hands where, off me, please. Both where is your ID? Sir. There's kids over there. There's nowhere to sit. Um, there is no table. I've already explained that chair. to you. There's a chair. Sit in a the chair. There's a table right over there. What's the difference between that chair and this chair? He's just being a patient. You can't take him? I don't know what's going on. What do you want him to do? You said you were taking my stuff to rent a car. Yeah, I was taking you to rent a car. Well, now you're with us. You're no longer with him. So get your bag that has your ID in it and we will help you. Okay, let me use this so I point in the right direction. Would you be so kind as to tell me which direction? I am not telling you again. This is not up for negotiation. Despite being gentle with him all through the conversation, Loki remains non-compliant and aggressive. Officers are forced to take extra measures to get him to comply. The office... Hey. No. Stop. Get your hands off me! Stop get your hands off me! Stop it. Get your hands off me! Stop. Get your hands off me! Stop. Stop. I'll, I'll give you some information. My son-in-law is a judo champion of Japan. And that's Turn not, him around against the no wall. Shit. Then get your hands off me. Get your hands Turn off me! Against the wall. I got you. I got you. No, just get Turn him against the wall. Get your hands off me. Let me get to your house. I yeah. need to get my ID. Just get your hands off me. I got it. Liar. Get your hands off me.
Get your hands off me! Can you close it? Yeah, I got you. Stroke survivor, but it won't be. And you'll be guard. Just uh, let you'll me. You'll be responsible. Get your hands off me! Hey, I just had a stroke. You better calm down, for you have another one. So you give it to me, and you'll you'll see my lawyer. There you go. Get your hand off me. Just relax, sir. Can you get your hand off me so I can get over it? Oh, I'm not picking up my idea if you get me. Just no, relax. I've already given you plenty of options. You did not. Miss Waters, you almost got it. This is all complete bullshit and lies. No. Get your hands off me. Get your hands yeah. off me. Don't, don't, get don't, your don't. hands off me. Don't, don't. Get your hands off me. Abusers! I'm trying to get that. Okay. Physical abuse. I got it. Elderly yes. abuse. Abusing and disabled. Abusing and disabled. Ah! Abuse! Call the police. Physical abuse. Got it. Elder abuse. Physical abuse. Yeah. Can I just sit down in the wheelchair or what do you want to do? Let me sit in my wheelchair now. Let me sit in it. You want to sit down? Yeah, right now. Okay. Without that crap on. Nope. Take this shit off. Take this shit off now. Take this shit off, you fools. Let's get that Yep, thank you. Get this crap off me now, my guy. Yes, go wash up. Get this shit off me, you liars. You're fools. Yeah. He, he crushed my finger. I know. Yeah. Take things off of me now. Do you want it the ID? I'm giving you the ID. Well, no, sir. You had the opportunity False. to give us an ID. False lies. A search of Lucky's traveling bags is done to find his identification, but it yields no results. Throughout the process, he keeps on ranting about his rights being violated and once again denies hitting the flight attendant. Don't touch my bag. Don't touch my bag. Watch out. Yeah, leave it the way it is. Huh? Don't touch my bag. Don't touch the stuff. No, just, just put it the way it was. I did not give you permission to go into it. Put it back the way it was in the belt on it. And don't touch my stuff. Check and see if I can maybe get some more seats Don't touch my stuff, I said, please. You're invading privacy and personal yeah. space. Leave it alone now. Put my belt back on it and okay. close it. Close it up now, Miss Waters. You have no Next permission slide. to go in there. You're breaking personal rights. Don't touch my personal property. It's unconstitutional. The right to life, liberty, and property shall not be abused. Did you look up the uh, lawyer's name is Bo? I, hey, I need to get your info. Sure. Hold on. Yeah. Move my bag on, on the wheelchair. Keep on going together. Don't touch my bag. Don't touch my You're stuff. not making the, the demands anymore. Don't touch my stuff. Invasion of personal privacy and space. You don't have any permission to touch any of my things. You want to tell me where your ID is? Put it exactly the way it was. I say I will give it to you when you treat me like a human being. Huh? Like an animal. Take your hands off. You're me. not going anywhere. So you take your hands off of me. It's Garza. You said you do have your ID? I can get it, and I will get it. Uh, the whole time I've been cooperative, I need my hands free well, to get it. You're mm. handcuffed, and you're not going anywhere, so... You, Let me go, no, and then I'll... you want me to get it, I'll get it for you. When this guy, uh, the animal's off of me and stuff treats me like a wild animal. Well, you had... You're asking why. You had like 15 minutes to calm down, right? Totally wrong. Take these off, off of me. This is an elderly abuse and abusing a uh, disabled elderly. Actually, I'm recovering from a stroke from a year ago. Would you please get this crap off of me now? Do you need an ambulance? No, I want the stuff off me so I don't have a heart attack or stroke caused by these <clears throat> animalistic people who don't know how to treat people with respect. Get these off of me. Call a lawyer, his name is Bo, I can't remember his last name. This is hurting me, get it off my wrist now. I've been cooperative the whole time, I said I'll take it out. Just let me take it out. And I did nothing. And I never touched anybody. In fact, the wit stewardess had her two-inch nails in my face, almost scratching my face. When I'm just asking her, where's my bag? And she treats me like shit. Completely evil and uncalled for, and making up lies about me. I don't take lies very well, sorry. Because they lost my shoes in D.C., so I'm maybe a little bit oversensitive, which I am anyway, emotionally and socially. I just I lost my best friend in, in California, where I came from. Sorry to hear that. No. 
Well, you know what the Bible actually says about government, right? That as Christians, we're supposed to submit to the rule that God has ordained. Doesn't mean the government is always doing what is right, like the current administration. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure in Bible times they were literally tying Christians to posts and lighting them on fire. And Paul still said that through the inspiration don't, don't of the Word of God. My wrists are hurting, please. Well, let's try and stand up. I'm so, not trying to stand up. Would you just take the thing off my wrist? No. Before they break the wrist. They're not going to break your wrist. They're hurting my pulse, which could hurt my heart and cause another stroke. Jonathan, Daniel, I appeal to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They've been lying about me since I was on the plane, since she had her two-inch nails in my face. And because she had them in my face, I was yelling at me. Yeah, I yelled back at her. Sorry. I just asked. I, I, I yelled, get, get, get your fingers out of my face. I never touched her. And she's, she's making up lies about me. I've never touched anybody. The identification is finally found in Lucky's money bag, but it takes a brief struggle before they can get the bag off him. Give me my bag. Give me my, give me my. That's gonna hurt your wrist. You, you need to let it go. You need to give it to me so I can show uh, Mr. Daniel where my ID is. Would you please do that right now? Right now, give it, give me my bag so I can take it out. No, no, and like I said, it's on top of my privates. Look at that, that's all I needed. And the whole time you didn't let me take it out. That's right. All it's you have to do, it, all you have to do, is give me my heart. I am not repeating. Exaggeration lies. is another form of lies. I asked you to tell me where your ID. We're not doing that. Take this and, off and so I can would. put it. On. Take it off so yeah. I can put it on correctly. I'm on, I'm on, you know what? I'll just. Oh, no, no. Take this off so I can put so it on. So that you can watch it since it's your money back. No, I, I, I'll have it on my waist. Put it on my waist. Uh, let's move him. Let's start going in that direction. Elder abuse, disabled abuse, passenger abuse. Anybody want to fly with American? Elderly abuse. They abuse the elderly. They, well, they abuse disabled. There. Don't fly American unless you want to be abused. American Airlines will, stewardesses will abuse you with their two inches nails. Watch out for American Airlines stewardesses. Some of them will abuse you. Beware of American Airlines stewardesses. Lucky is taken to a waiting room before being taken to jail, where he keeps up rambling about random things and denying all the claims of his actions. Would you please take these off so I can call the lawyer of my friend? No, nope, you're going to get a phone call when you get to the jail. A year ago, I suffered a stroke. I actually don't need the wheelchair, but I did need, did need help with the bags because they weren't fitting. So I actually, there's still another bag that. I think well, uh, either on this or a different uh, flight, but I'm not sure which, because they're not helping me. Got you. I actually think I could treat me with a little bit of humanity, kindness, and consideration. So sometimes the map, the what do you call it, mask slips down because I got a big nose, and also I can't see because of the cloudiness on my glasses. And I got to breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You know, some some of us can't breathe either. You know, and I'm not saying that and they were, we're not listening um, for a woman yelling at me with two inch nails. Office? Unless this African American tried to spread another lie and portray it as racism, complete lie. I sat next to the largest African lady, African American lady on the plane, and we formed a, a good friendship. And she's Seventh Day Adventist Christian, and Christian background similar to mine. And we shared a lot of good things, including the fact that uh, one of the most famous African American singers, Stevie Wonder, his sound man manager, happens to be my cousin. And believe it or not, I was a member of the NAACP since age eight. So where's racism? Not it. Only on her part, not mine. Tired of Lucky's BS, a female officer tells him he will be charged with battery for his actions. She also takes the time to explain to him that it was all recorded on camera. And why, why did you put pressure on an innocent, disabled, elderly person? Why? Sir, you're not innocent. You're going for to God's jail. For God's sake, for Jesus' sake, stop this lying. You're going to game. jail. Stop your lying game. You're going to jail for battery. You're not innocent. Total lies. We have witnesses. They're all Total lying. Lie. They're all yeah. lying on you. Yeah, battery is complete bullshit. Complete. Mm -hmm. She almost scratched my face, but I never laid a hand on anyone. Don't give me that lie. But I would watch myself. If I were you and you and me, we all need to watch ourselves and treat each other better than you guys have been doing. How have I treated you poorly, sir? Well, all of... Uh, no, I'm not saying about you, um, Mr. Jonathan. Okay, well, you just included us all in that uh, statement, all, so all I was just wondering. So far, well, you haven't relieved the pain of this metal on my wrist. It's actually very excruciating pain and hurtful. I can fit a finger beneath 
Please. Each of those cuffs, please. which means ow! they're take not it. too please, tight. Please take this off. And he screamed ow after please. my hand was already away from please the take, cuff. Please take this right one off right now. No. See, uh, you're playing a power trip just like this dude is power tripping me. One of your wrists has even got fabric power tripping. underneath it. Don't give, don't give excuses for elderly abuse and, and, and uh, abusing a disabled person. They're all BS excuses, all right? You want to I mean, be treated the same way? I've got pretty big fingers and, right. like I said, they can fit between your wrist and the cuff. So. Excuses don't help when a person's in pain. I don't do anything that's going to get me put in jail. Lucky is finally taken to a squad car for transport to the station. He makes it difficult for the officers to do so. As long as you're standing, my hand's going to be right here. If you you want to are sit down, one control freak, aren't you? Yeah, control freak. Are you charging him with a felony battery, Elio? Or are you letting that one slide? All right, go and stand up. I'm sure, Je I'm need a hand. I'm sure Jesus would not treat people like you do, but then he didn't throw stones either like you guys do. Well, that's fine. You can believe whatever you no, want to believe. No, let me show you where I want that. Let me show you. Let me show you where I want my keys. The keys are going where I put them. Uh, you're really a power tripper. Separate aren't you? your feet. You're really a power tripper, aren't you? So you do it and put it exactly where it belongs. Otherwise, you're stealing. You'll be charged for it. Okay, go ahead. You can charge me. Are you hungry? You can have some. Unfortunately, I'm not. I appreciate it, though. Yeah. Go ahead and step in the car. No, you're pushing me into the car, into the door. Get in the car. You're pushing me into the door. Let me go at my own pace. Then go. Remember, I'm just standing here. I'm not pushing remember, you. Remember I had, uh, what do you call it? That's fine. Therapy for three months. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not pushing you. I'm just holding your arm. But we got to get in the car. You can't sit like this. Can I sit in the front seat? Nope. Uh, Would it be easier for you to get on the other side where there's not a step down? Uh, then it's just a step into the vehicle? Uh, yeah, but there's still okay. the, the same, same thing here on that side too, right? Yeah. Actually, the, 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 the arms are going to end up getting uh, hurt because they're You already, can lean forward. They're already hurting. Okay. Well, as soon as we get in the car and get to jail, the sooner they can take them off, that'd be all right. You unzip, unzip the, 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 that's what it's going to look like. Go ahead and step your foot out. No, I'm going to hit my head, see? I'll pad your head, don't worry. I've done this before. And my license, please put exactly where she took it out from. Go ahead. Would you put the license? I can get in. Would you put the license exactly where she took it out? The license is staying right here. They'll get it no, in the no, jail. No, I'm saying put it in the... Sit down. Put it in the front of my, in my uh, fanny belt, please, where she took it Sit out down. from. Sit down. Oh, no, actually, it's in my blue. It's going in the blue thing. You put it in my... I'll give it to jail. They'll no, put no, it no, wherever put they put it. it. Oh, Sit down. No, would you put it in... Sit down. Sir, it goes... No. In Sit down. No, it goes in my blue change purse. Put it in there where, where you took it out from. Yeah. I'm not even Shit. touching you. Yeah, Just like you guys did, forcing me against the wall. Was that you? Nope. I can't believe you were what the other guys were. I wasn't even up there when no, all that happened. I'm, okay, and no, yet I'm, you're I'm accusing not, me of it. I'm not. I said, I can't believe that you were doing it. I asked you, did you hear? I said, was that you? You heard me ask the question. I didn't. I yeah, believe. I said no. And then he said, I can't believe you would do that. Uh, yeah, which means you didn't. I wouldn't believe that you would do it. Yeah. At the station, Lockie is charged with battery and resisting arrest. He was later released on a $500 bail until his date in court. Here is another Karen passenger, but this time a female. On May 25, 2021, officers responded to a public disturbance being caused by a lady at the airport. However, the lady in question only gets more dramatic and claims one of the passengers choked her to the ground. Being, being a Raleigh passenger, we told her to come down, sit down, because she acting like she is drunk or something. And she then drunk. when we told we told her to sit down, and then she run, and I told her her to close the door, and she and somebody else, another passenger, push her. I think she's intoxicated. Oh. I did nothing. Ma'am, what happened? This guy choked no. me. Ma'am. What the. F What's wrong with him? Calm down. Keep it down, okay? No, you need to talk to him. He choked on me. They saw it. Ma'am. They saw it. Ma'am, calm down. Listen, I'm fine. I need to get to my great aunt's memorial service. I've been de detained and held up all day. You can go through my bags. I have nothing. I'm not going through my bags. My God, what is wrong with Calm down. Calm down. No, so, that guy needs to be arrested. Come on, let's go over here. You, you saw it. 
You saw it! You saw it! Ma'am. You saw it! Ma'am. Keep. He choked on me! Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Officer Off. He threw me to the ground! What's your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues! Look, look him over here and we'll talk, okay? I want the manager of the fucking airport here! Who saw me and choked me? Choked me! Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? I saw you run through the door here. when you weren't supposed he to. He choked me to the ground! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am. I'm a woman over here. in a dress! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am, let's go over here, okay? Boo-hoo! You f*** off! Not helping. Not helping. Ma'am, go over here. I want the manager of the airport here! Ma'am. No! Ma'am. No! Calm down. I want the manager here! Okay, we'll get the manager. What is your name? My name is Terry Ann Blues! I'm not going to be treated like Ma'am. this! Calm down. He chuckled me to the ground! I'm not gonna be treated like this! Ma'am. I Ma want an officer here! Ma'am, I am Officer Hall. I am what family happened? waiting for my great ass fing funeral! I've been through hell trying to get through this goddamn airport service! I want some help! And I don't want it now! Ma'am. No! Stay over here. That guy threw me to the ground! Who saw it? Raise your fing hand! Ma'am, calm down. Nobody wants to stand up for me! Ma'am, what is your name? I told you three times. I didn't hear you. Terry and Ma'am Blues! Okay. Now who's gonna stand up for me? Somebody saw him choke me hold to the ground! Somebody stand up for me! Ma'am. God damn it! After identifying herself as Terry, the lady refuses to comply with an officer's demand to calm down and move to a quieter area for questioning. She also blatantly requests the airport manager in a commanding tone. He choke holding me to the ground! Hey ma'am, can we go over here? No! Talk? No, I tried to get to my memorial, my great aunt's memorial look. service. Hey, look, ma'am. No! Ma'am. This is unexcusable. Okay. I've been in hospitality for 40 years. Ma'am. I've never been treated like this. Ma'am. No, ma'am. I want the manager of the airport here. No! Ma'am. You cannot treat a passenger like that. That was another passenger that choked holding me to the ground. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? Ma'am. You cannot down. treat someone like this. Ma'am, calm down. Get me somebody that can help me. Ma'am, I'm here to help you. No, you're not helping I'm me. I'm here to help you. No, you're not helping me. Ma'am, I can help you if you calm down a little bit, okay? Can you that come guy choked holding me. Where is my luggage? Ma'am, I can help you if you calm he down. He threw me to the okay. ground. I understand that, so. No, there's cameras. What are you talking about? Oh my God! Take some deep breaths, okay? Take some no. deep breaths. No, I want a manager here. I want the manager of the airport here. Ma'am, calm down. This is not happening. That guy had no right to throw okay. me to the ground. He choked okay. holding me. Okay, so what happened? Um, if I, I'm Officer Altman, okay? I'm here I, to help. Uh, I'm okay. trying to get my ass funeral, god damn it. I've had nothing but problems. Okay. Uh, god. So what happened? He threw me to the ground because I tried to enter the door because this woman said I had. Stay over here. That woman causing problems. Ma'am. Did you try to go into the door? I don't know. Dude, I'm just trying to get to my aunt's memorial, please. Oh, God. I had a couple of... Not much sense has been made of Terry's rambling by the officer. He decides to question an airport staff member to get more information. I didn't do anything! Leave me alone! Please leave me alone! So did you guys deny her flight? Okay, so she came over here screaming at me. I told her, are you going to Tyler? I work in Tyler. Tyler, no, you don't do your, you, 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 you're not doing a shit. Then she come over here with attitude, then she went over the third report flight. 
and we told her to sit down and calm down. She cannot be doing this drama around her. And everybody was looking at her. Yeah. Then when we started the boarding process, um, she she just jumped on, on Marie and said, ma'am, you okay to, to board now? And she started like acting like crazy, but she, had, she was screaming in the, in the seat. When I, we, we denied her boarding, she just ran over the door and I just followed her and said, ma'am, you cannot do that. And then when I see that guy doing like, something like something like this and then push her and she and she just fall over my my foot did he push her just because he was trying to yeah to i just her? i didn't touch her i just told her hey ma'am is that guy out there right now and then another guy he got a blue shirt he shot on her and pushed her back she okay. was she followed my feet and then she starts screaming and crying okay that's what happened but with Maurice, I would try to because I, she was added to me and then she got added to with Maureen. So basically she was denied boarding? Yeah, she was denied boarding because we, 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 we were that. They are not. Are those uh, two guys on the uh, airplane right now? Yeah, it's the passengers are done there. Can I continue the plane? Uh, yeah. The man who allegedly choked Terry gets questioned. He explained that Terry's claim was false and that he only tried to stop her from illegally boarding. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you was it you? Yes. Sir. Can you come out? Sure. She's not going to bother. You can come out too. How are you? So what happened? So she was I was walking up as soon as I saw her. Okay. She was bit. making a ruckus over there in front of the thing. We were She tried to bust through? Yeah. She came over and shut the door told us to go in. One of, one the door was halfway shut and she came rushing through the door. I pushed her back. Jim pushed her she back. said that you grabbed her neck? Oh, I you pushed her. So you pushed her back so she couldn't get through, so right? So she couldn't get through the door they were trying to she close, yeah. And she okay. fell to the ground. Can I go? Excuse me. Yeah. 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 I understand. Okay. Yeah. So you have an ID or anything? Absolutely, yeah. This time, a female officer comes around to help calm down Terry. In the process, Terry lashes out at all the passengers waiting, claiming that they did not stand up for her. Let's go have a seat. Come on. No, this guy. I'm here now. I'm my luggage you, okay? is gone. Come on. Oh, my God. You'll get your luggage. Don't worry, okay? Breath, Terry, okay? Come on. I'll go get I asked everyone in the terminal to stand up for me. Nobody would help me. Nobody. I'm here to Nobody. help you. Nobody. I'm here to help you. Please help me. I'm here to help you, okay? You want to come have a seat so I can help you out? Please help me. I'm here to help you, okay? Let's get you sit down so you can catch your breath. You want some water? You want to go to the water fountain with me? You want to walk to the water fountain with okay. me? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just have you sit down. No, I'm not no. going in the way. I'm no. not. No. No, no. Hey, move that. Hey. Come on, Tim. Let's, let's walk with me, okay? Here. I'm going to take you to get some water. Let's just walk with you, okay? You want to go get some water? Okay? That's the water fan over here, okay? Do you want to get some water? Here. Yeah, everybody, thank you for sticking up for me. Okay. Everybody that saw that pastor choke holding. He and throw me. choke holding. He and throw me to the ground. Thank you for helping me. That's her stuff. Okay. Some America. Turn around and get some water here. Take your breath here. Give me they all saw it. They all saw it. Okay, here. He's still there in the door! The guy that choke holding me! Terry, okay. Terry claims that she did nothing wrong, contrary to the statements of the staff and the man who allegedly choked her. She continues to tear up emotionally about how seemingly badly she was treated and later reveals that she did take some alcohol. Calm down, Chris. You want to lock me up? Go ahead. I didn't do anything wrong, so go ahead! Breathe, Terry. Relax, okay? You're fine. My flight's leaving. I need to get to my great aunt's funeral, okay? okay? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm coming from Oregon. Okay. Across the nation and I get the shit. Okay. I get chokeholded do you have by a, another passenger. Do you have a purse? I can't believe this! Terry, do you have a purse? Terry. It got purse? taken from me. All my shit's gone. Oh, that's over here, man. Breathe, Terry. I, I've had enough. Okay. I, I, I didn't deserve this. 
Okay. Yeah, you're good. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. It's not fair. Keep breathing, Perry. That girl at the reservation desk, she did it. She okay. sent him on me. Okay. I had. Okay. I didn't do anything wrong. I checked in. I asked for an early check in. Okay. Oh my God, I'm never flying again. I can't stand America. I'm moving to Spain. Did you have anything to drink today, Terry? Yes, I did. Is that against the law? No, it's not. How much did you have a drink today? I had a couple of margaritas. A couple of margaritas. You can go talk to the bartender. Okay. I had a very fine time with those people until okay. I got here. Okay. What bar was it at? Luna's Pizza, right down there? Yes, you can talk to him. Okay. An officer offers to get Terry on the next available flight, but she rejects the offer and asks that she be placed on the initial flight even though it is impossible to do so. Typical Karen behavior. Are you traveling by yourself? Yes, I didn't deserve this. I really didn't. You already ran her and not got Oh my God. Yes. And my Aunt Dolores. Terry, keep breathing. Relax. You're fine. <laughs> You're gonna get on the next available flight. We're gonna see if we can get you on another flight, okay? No, I need to be on the Shreveport flight. This my cousin's meeting me to take me out to dinner. Okay, you gotta be It's fine. a very important man. Okay. My dad was a very important woman. Is this your stuff? God damn it. Please get me on this flight. Is this your, is this your, your stuff? stuff, right? <laughs> is, is, your your yes! is your driver's license in here? Driver's license in there, Terry? <laughs> Yes! What are you gonna run the report on me? Yeah, it's can in I, there. Can I get it? Go ahead! Okay. Here, keep breathing. You're fine, okay? Keep breathing. What do you want to see? I have a report in Washington State. No, I just need your. Where is it at in here? Okay, we're just gonna. I'm getting more excited. This really makes me sick! No, I, this is not right! You let another passenger choke hold me! No, I didn't! Terry, Terry, calm down. As Terry continues to escalate her irrational behavior, officers place her in handcuffs as a precautionary measure. No, I don't need to explain why that guy choke holding me when he's a passenger. And nobody here stood up for me! Nobody! Took a report, nothing. Terry, it's down. all on camera. Terry, you relax. bet I'm gonna f get it. Okay. I'll, re I'll request yeah, it. Yeah. I'll request yeah. every surveillance yeah. camera in this goddamn airport. I just wanted to get her drink information out of it. Okay. And why nobody stood up for me? Why nobody saw it? Terry. Everybody saw it. Terry. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was chokeholded by a passenger. Terry. Shame on all of you. Terry, calm down. I don't give a sh Terry, calm down. Calm down. That's why America is f***ing going to the dogs. Because nobody will stand up for anyone. Terry. Calm down. You f***ing piece of shit. Terry. Put your other arm behind you. Give me the other arm, Terry. I'm not. No. Oh, I'm being arrested for being chokehold. Please, somebody film this. Please, someone film this. She's being Come recorded, ma'am. Don't Please, worry. someone film this! Please! You want to lock it? Yeah. I God it. damn it. Please, someone. It's being recorded, man, by both of us, all right? I didn't do anything. I have to get on this plane. Why am I being held? Why? That guy choke holding me! You You're holding me for my fight! Someone please record this! Please! God damn it! Let's have you sit down, Terry. Terry. You have these cups on very fast. Let's have you sit down, Terry. You have these cups on very fast. I'm not being transported. Sit down. Take the cups off of me! And I'll take them off. Get her, sir. I need my stuff. We're gonna grab it, Terry. We're gonna grab it. Wait, wait, wait. This shit's cutting my ass. cutting my wrist. Come on. You said you'd help me. I did. Readjust the cuffs then. Are you gonna, Are you gonna relax for me to do it? I couldn't put them on correctly because you kept moving. I will calm down. You f***ing fix them. Okay, sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm gonna miss my ass being rolled. <laughs> Another drama is started by Terry when officers try to move her to the squad car. She resists for a few moments, but is eventually forced to comply. No, you fix the f hand car. Terry, we're about to roll. No! Fix them. Every time I try to move. I'm not gonna move. You try one more time. This is okay. God damn you. Hey, Alfred. You said you would help me. When you leave, get her stuff, please. There we go. Pick up your feet, man. No, I'm not going to. Pick up your feet. No, I'm not going to! Leave me alone! Terry, relax! Stop it! There you go. Still works. What? There you go. Terry, you want to get her stuff or no? I'll watch. Wait! You told me you sit would up, help straight. me. Sit up, sit up. No. Damn. Sit down, no. okay? They're cutting into my wrist. God damn you. Ma'am. Ow! Stop! Oh my God. Three. Three. Oh, you Three. That's why I hate America. Leave me alone. No. Leave me alone. Ow! My arms, please! My wrists, my God, stop! 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 Hey, if you calm down, it won't hurt anyone. Put my legs down! Put my legs down! Put my legs down! Keep kicking me. Oh, hey! Oh, my God! Let go! It hurts! Let go! Oh, you motherfuckers. Let go of me! Please let go. Oh, my arms hurt so bad! Please let go of me! Oh, you liar. Let go of me! Calm down. Take it easy. No, just let go. God damn it, put my legs down! Terry, if we put him down, you're gonna drag him. Are you gonna I'm hold him up? Put you gonna them hold him up? down! Are you gonna hold him up? Yes! Okay, right. can you hold him up? Thank you. Let go of my arms. Oh, I fing hate America. I fing hate this country. Please help me! No! I've never been in jail! No! Somebody please film this! Please film this! Please! Somebody film this! God damn it, leave me alone! At the squad car, Terry refuses to be placed inside and requests to have the handcuffs removed before complying. However, the officers chose not to fulfill her request, which led to a long delay. You need to step Damn, up. You need to step up. I won't step up. Just let go of the cops. You're killing me. Okay. I, I can't well, do you anything. Stand you stand up on Just your own. Just let go of the cops. Stand up on your own. You stand up on your stand own. Stand up and step in. Okay, man. Take, take your left up. foot and put take it up there, okay? Let go of the cops. We're not taking the cuffs off. I'm not doing anything unless you let go Damn, of these fuck. I can't do I can't do anything. Ma'am. No. Listen. Let go of the Man. You break my arm. You can take him off. Take him off. off. You didn't even talk to the bartender. Ma'am, take a step up. I can no, I'm not. I don't care. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. F you. You call the goddamn city. No, you're breaking my arms. Ma'am, you the one that's supposed to be resisting, not me. Ow! Take a step up. Ow! No! You fucker, stop it! Stop! 
Ma'am, step Stop! up! No! Step in the vehicle! Ultimately, Terry is forcibly placed in the car despite her resistance. Additionally, she is secured with a seatbelt to prevent further disturbance. However, she ensures that the entire ride to the police station remains quite noisy. I didn't assault anyone! Please help me! Please film this! They're arresting me illegally! Please, somebody! God damn it, please! No! 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 Oh, you get out of here! At the station, Terry is escorted to one of the holding rooms. The officers informed her that she would only be granted a phone call after calming down and cooperating. Subsequently, she was slammed with charges of public intoxication, resisting arrest search and transport, possession of marijuana under two ounces, and possession of a dangerous drug. This next Karen also showed she was a racist, and it quickly landed her in trouble. On July 1, 2022, Officers from the Broward County Sheriff's Department were called to a JetBlue terminal. They were responding to an incident involving a female suspect who refused to pay a baggage fee for her oversized luggage. Upon arrival, they noticed that the bag was just too heavy and assumed that it belonged to a homeless person who somehow found their way to the airport. Just clothing, but yeah. heavy. No tag. I mean, there's a holder, no. Huh? Yeah, just. No, no, I'm just saying there's a holder, but no, right, no, no name. No. Oh, um, just no. looks like clothing. That heavy? It's a lot. No, no, Maybe it was no, some no. homeless person. There's, there's more than just clothing. It's all underneath. Yeah, well, not that I want. I can't yeah, you don't want to look in there. <laughs> but it's like... You don't want to look with no gloves on and... Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. But on top, it's all clothing. There's something heavy like yeah. underneath the clothing because there's no way. This, this is there's no way that's just clothing. How much of weight? Uh, have a scale. There's one right here. Should be right there. Because this is insane. Oh, Seventy eight pounds. <laughs> 77. 77. What could be in there? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's 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 more than just clothes. It has to be. It's like having an engine or a piece of motor. Or it looks like equipment. Yeah. It, or it feels like equipment. Yeah. No way. I'm just curious. Let's just. No, because. Let's just look. You know, hazardous reasons or. I mean, for me. I mean, I know it's at the jet boost. So, yeah, I mean, the the dog didn't alert, so it, at least it's not, right, right. it's, it's not nothing hazard. dangerous, right, right. yeah. Because this is like, it's as if someone says, hey, you know what, this device, we can't rotate it. Hey, you know what, this device, we can't Oh, it looks like a homeless person's, like, house. <laughs> 
I mean, it's got like all this. It's all shoes and whatever the heck. This is like a whole container of Q-tips. This looks like uh, documents. Yeah. Like education. Oh yeah, that's that's part of what's yeah. causing the uh, the bulk a little bit. Lisa Michelle Landy. She's got a master's degree from Notre Dame. It's pretty what? good. We need to find her. I'm not sure why she would leave a whole suitcase. Five six one nine two three. Five two. Before the officer's arrival, the suspect left the terminal and headed toward the boarding site, trying to get on the plane. A JetBlue supervisor soon comes along and discloses that the suspect was not permitted to board the flight due to various issues. One of those issues appears to be a case of her being seriously intoxicated. So she's coming out to get her bag? She's not flying. <laughs> she's not flying. Yeah. Okay. They had a, I just spoke with the supervisor that's covering the area. It's, uh, they're turning it over, so there's another suspect. I spoke with both of them. and. Um, Said the woman's gonna come out. So there were other issues. So. She's intoxicated, I think. Uh, also, well, if she's intoxicated, she's definitely not supposed to be going anywhere. So, um, like toiletries too, like hygiene products, like perfume bottles, glass. That's what makes it ridiculously heavy. Eighty-three pounds. Like, what do you have in here? A small child. But then and it was. Why would you leave it? Just abandon it. I've never had so many people board a plane either, or attempt to board a plane either intoxicated or under the influence. I mean, it's you can, crazy. Well, they're under the influence, you can, I mean, smell it. Oh my <laughs> Some of it is so strong, I'm like, oh. Man. Yeah. Like As the suspect is returned to the terminal, an officer overhears her making a racist comment to one of the staff. In response, the officer scolds the suspect right away, but the suspect takes offense at it and acts dramatically. Yo, lady, ah, 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 we don't speak that here. What are you saying? Are you kidding me? In the airport? In public? You said the N word? Are you serious? Ah, ah, you're yelling that shit here. Ah, ah. No. Go, no, you're, me. yeah, you're gonna go. I no, you're gonna take your big ass, ass Get that three pound that suitcase. Excuse you, that's your Within seconds, the situation escalates as the suspect tries to fight off the officer. She was quickly placed in handcuffs and arrested. Go get it. Get downstairs, lady. Get downstairs. I can't no. carry it. No, get your Go downstairs. You Oh, ah, 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 ah. Excuse you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Get your You're gonna get arrested. That's what. Excuse you. No. No. Uh, uh. No. I wanna see my You're mother tomorrow. Uh, uh. No. You're arrested now. No, I'm no, no, not no, 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 no. 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 Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Uh, uh. Excuse oh, you. Uh-uh. Oh, Put your hands behind your back. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh. Uh-uh. Please stop. stop. My knees you need to my stop. Mother. You're too young. So you don't no, I am not. What is You're that? acting that like a f lunatic. Late 80s dying of cancer. Nobody cares right now because you're Damn acting it. like a lunatic. At an airport. Oh, you're you're I didn't do anything You're wrong. shouting racist derogatory terms. No, I just in the middle of an airport. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. You're not. You're not. You're not when you're blasted drunk, lady. Well, not before you started yelling. You know what? You, you just said no. No.
The suspect tries to plead her way out of the situation by requesting to go to a hotel and come back the next day for the flight. Unsurprisingly, this move does not work as she has already violated multiple laws by her actions. What are you trying to say? Just let me go to a hotel and just come back tomorrow. This is not fair because she wants to bully up to me when I too. need to see my mother and my two boys that are home from college. Why do you get blasted drunk to see your family and your dying mother? The that you miss your flight and you left your bag. That's great how you treat people. Really great. You know what she said? Yelling out, Nick, like the N-word. Yelling out. No, she put All hands out on loud. Me. No, I only brought oh. hands on you. You need to be quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to relax Battery yourself. Touch and you need to relax. You need to relax. Get her hands off of me. The suspect is taken outside of the airport to the squad car. However, along the way, she claims that her husband, who is allegedly an attorney, will sue on her behalf. Which car? Where's the car? Whose car are we putting her in? Whose car? Come on. Oh! Stop moving then. Yeah. Stop handling me! I'm cooperating! It turns out that the suspect was a repeat offender who once had a run-in with the police for calling 911 a hundred times. Meanwhile, her irrational behavior at the airport led to her receiving multiple charges, including assault on an officer and public intoxication. She was later sentenced to probation and community service and banned from flying with JetBlue Airlines for the rest of her life. At times, dealing with Karens requires a more forceful measure, as seen in the case of our next suspect. On March 3, 2022, a tipsy Ryan Austin Martin was preparing to board a flight with his family but ended up missing it. In a drunken attempt to board another, he assaulted his wife and daughter before they were rescued by airport security. Law enforcement was quickly called in, but before their arrival, Ryan acted like a mini Hulk, landing blows on a door at the airport. Police attempted to arrest Ryan once they arrived on the scene, but he was non-compliant. This gets him a nasty 50,000 volt surprise coursing through his body. Just breathe. Bring this knee up to your chest, okay? 
All right, watch. We're going to get the bat. All right, one, two, three. Let's go. Here we go. All right. After being placed in handcuffs, Ryan is wheeled away. Officers also get more information about the incident from witnesses at the airport, staff, and Ryan's wife. They reveal Ryan's actions were quite disturbing. So I wasn't, I was more concerned with them. We kind of, I kind of walked away from them. Well, he's cursing and yelling. Um, he came over to us and um, kept on yelling and screaming, left and went to the bar two different times. Um, and then came back over here yelling and screaming, cursing. Um, just got worse once I said that I was going to call on security. On the way here, you know, they were telling us yeah, he, he had to put it in the hands of the room. Yeah, he tried to pull my hair. Yeah, that's what they told us on the radio. That's why we're coming fast. Yeah. All right. And you said he's your husband? Has he done this before? He's been no, no, but the drinking, yes. When he drinks, he becomes aggressive? Yes, yes. So he drank today? Yes. Well, he came with a big glass of... Look like a martini or something. Okay, that's probably changed his mood. Yes. So we received a call from the agent at gate 48 that a supervisor. If you want to take it off so you can, so you can catch uh, your voice, but it's okay. That we need a supervisor. There's a, a, a customer being abusive towards his family. So then I, I, I'm usually the ramp supervisor, but since she goes by herself, I was like, I'll go up with her. You know what I mean? So I came up, and as soon as I came up, she came over here like, no, we gotta call the police because he was screaming already in the, in the gate area, and everybody's just staring, you know? And she's kind of, the wife, her sister, and the kids were like kind of like in the corner, like right there, sitting in the front, and I, was, I noticed that there was fear. So then I looked at them, I'm like, are you guys okay? And then she's like, no, we need help. So that's when I pulled her off, and I told them to come with me that I needed to talk to him away from the gate area. He just looked at me crazy and he didn't get up. So then I told him, you guys step away. And I kind of got in between where he was sitting and, and where she right was. Here? And this was right there in the front where the kid with the, yeah, 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 the burgundy. It. So I told her to come back here where this area is kind of away from them. So when she did that, he started following and wanted getting aggressive verbally. So then I told him, I Because you were trying to talk to her, right? You were trying to talk to her. No, I wanted to keep him away from her. You know what I mean? Because I saw the aggression building. So when he started walking, following me, like trying to get here to them, and I was like, sir, I'm going to call the police. You need to step away. So then he started walking that way, like rushing, like he was trying to get away. So the family came here, and I followed to see where he went so we can notify you guys. You know what I mean? Not close. I let the distance. You know what I mean? And he stopped at 42, and he was trying to blend in. So I came back, and as soon as I came back, somebody said, he's coming back. And I looked. And I told the family, I scanned my badge in here, and I was like, you guys come in here, because to me, this is a secured area on the jet bridge, you know what I mean, to keep them away. It turns out that Ryan's action at the airport was not a one-off situation. He gets abusive anytime he is drunk. So I close the door, and the kids are crying, and they're saying he gets like that when he drinks, he's, he's abusive, he gets aggressive. And who was telling he's you like, that? He's like, the wife. She's like, he's going to hurt somebody. He's going to hurt somebody. And I was like, he can't get in here. He busted that door open like nothing, when like it was open. Busted, like he okay, went, it door, pulled it, it up, like this? it was collapsed. Like if you try to go like in there right now, it's not gonna open. Right. So that's what I thought. Yeah, right. He just went boof and opened the door. Okay. And I told him, sir, you can't be in here. And he just kind of shoved me out the way. Like, get out of my way. 
Okay. But with his body, right, not right, his no, hands. No, that's that's, you know that's still I mean? the battery. So, that's still the battery. So once he went in the jet bridge and he was telling her, like, you really doing this to me? And he grabbed his cell phone and went, oof, right in there in the jet bridge. Okay. Like, stop, he grabbed stop, it like this. Stop. Repeat, repeat that again. I don't so want to miss that. He grabbed it like this. Uh, right? You're, you're holding let's your say phone. this is, yeah. So let's say this is the inside of the jet bridge, right? And he went, boof, like that. Like he hit the cell phone with the wall. His That's cell the, phone the, or your cell phone? His cell phone, not mine. Oh, but, okay, his cell phone. Right, okay, his okay. cell phone. He, so he was just trying to hit something, but he gotcha. hit the wall. So then I told him, Get a little scared? And, huh? Did you get a little scared for that because of his, uh, his uh, state really. of mind, his aggression? Was, my mindset was more... You know? I wasn't. Because you were there at that time, you were I there was alone, right? With him. With the family. I was more being overprotective with them because I know that he will harm her. You know what I mean? I'm looking at him, his whole movement in there. And then I kind of talked him on to, look, come on, guys, let's go out here. And he starts, she started grabbing everything. And he walked out, and I closed the door again. So this time around, I was holding the handle inside of there and trying to put my body to it and holding the, the side, the corner here, here and okay. pulling it on me. Because every time that he would try to open it, I would pull it on oh, So he was, he was... He was trying to go in again. Cause oh, he was when, trying to go back When in. we were going to exit out, there she was grabbing everything. When I told him, come on, let's go out there. I'm going to book you guys so he could calm down. So as soon as he went out first and she was grabbing her stuff, I went and I slammed the door onto me again. And this time, I kind of put my foot on the corner, and I was pulling the door on me, the handle, like the, to exit. And you were in the jet bridge, right? I was in the that. jet bridge, and the family was behind me. So then and he was here. She called, yep, right? he she called, here. she called her mom or his mom, and she was telling him on Facetime what he's doing, and she's crying behind me while I'm holding the door. Then I couldn't hold it no more because I was pinching my finger, and he pulled it, and he got in again, and he kind of again pushed me out of the way with his body, like trying to get yeah, to that's, her. That's a battery, and, man. It's still a battery. And, yeah. you know, after he did that, you know, he's trying to get to her and telling her, we're getting on this flight, we're gonna, and he's walking down like there's a plane. I'm like, sir, there's not a plane there. But the plane had left. There's no plane. Oh, there was never, was just, there was never a plane. I was just trying to keep there them secure, you know what I mean? So then he's like, no, I'm, I'm going to go on the flight, on the plane. I'm going to go on the plane. I'm like, sir, there's no plane there. So he walked all the way down. But when he saw there wasn't a plane, then he started walking up. And I'm trying to calm him down. Like, sir, let me go up here. You're going to go on the flight. Your family's going to go on the flight. Just hold on for a second. You know what I mean? And as soon as he came out, you know, I kind of heard. I don't know who showed up first. Who showed up first? And I got the family out when I saw you coming. I told him, come on, come on, come on. And she called me like that way. Outside of the airport, Ryan asks to be let go, but the police make it clear to him that it is not an option. I definitely want to be sit down. Okay, all right. Chair, right behind you. We're going to we'll pull the chair up right behind you. I just want to go home. Yeah. Just bring him back to a flight. Yo, bring him back to a flight, bro. No, it's not going to happen, man. What do you do for a living? Just New York. I'm a worker. Oh, man, you're kidding me, right? You couldn't even just let me go? There's no letting you go. We have to uh, I didn't even hit my wife. She's on a different flight. Look, she's calling me right now. Take the phone out of my pocket. That's my, that's my wife. Don't worry about it. If they're not even gonna let me go, what the? Stay seated. Don't ever grab me again. Hey. Stop. Okay. He's trying to make sure you're not going to fall. I know. I'm not going to fall on my face. I know how to act. Just give me that. Give me that. Right now. Uh, guy, give me the phone. Listen to me. Give me the phone. You're under arrest. Give me the phone. Stop. Uh, uh, you're going to act like a child. Give me the phone. Stay seated, please, sir. Like the fire department. Do you want to live or not? Uh, I'm sorry. Give me the phone or not. You're not threatening anybody. I think he can fill it out. Murphy from his home, from New York. Sir, please have a seat. You're under arrest. You got that? Yeah. Understand, understand how it works. How it works. You're hurting. You're hurting. You're hurting. You're hurting. You're Ryan's first consequence is revealed. He gets barred from the premises of the airport for the next one year. He's a, it's not the personal for him. He doesn't want to be here. You don't. None of us want to be here, man. What's time? Yeah. I know. What's time? But now I'm gonna be stuck in there for about eight hours, right? The consequences, man. It's early. Yeah. Okay. It's early. Right, what do you got? Let's what do you got, this, buddy? This is airside ops. What they've done is they've issued you a trespass warning, which means you're not allowed here ever for the next year. 
Okay, for one year you cannot return to this airport. When you come time to fly home, you need to use Sanford or Tampa Airport. Alright? So we have one year? Yep. A year and a day and you come back to Disney. Come right through here. How much? Welcome That's back. It. Do you um talk to me please? No man, we can't do that. Hey, we'll let you here. We'll take everything yeah. off. We'll let you go, we can eat lunch and everything. Yeah man. Why aren't we here? <laughs> Yeah, good, good point. Why are we here? I got beautiful kids, beautiful family. Why are we here? Yeah. We're here because I drank. Because I drank. That's it. I was drunk. That's it. Because I drank. Yeah, I, I was drunk. Yeah, I wanted to get on the stage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I drank. Yeah, I, I wanted to get on the out of flight. Well, let me ask you this right here. Ryan is then placed in the squad car and transported to the Orange County Booking and Receiving Center for processing. Sorry, I was drunk before, man. I got you, I got you. All right, hold it, that. What are we doing after this? So right now, um, this officer right here is gonna transport you to the Orange County Booking and Receiving Center, okay? That's our county jail, okay? They're gonna process. All right, that's it, that's I won't get home until... Right. All right, sit down. Yeah, you should be available for... Um, uh, just watch your head. Um, the, yeah, so the bond is going to be on your uh, affidavit, okay? All right. Yeah, so good. how much are we looking at? Okay, you want to put the seatbelt back on or it's up to you? You want the seatbelt on or, or not? Nah, don't worry about it. You don't want it. Well, right, I'll go. die. I'll die when I die. Yeah, you. But what's the uh, bond I'm looking at? Yeah, so it, it, um, when he writes in the charges, you'll know when you get there, okay? The only thing is, it's going to be double because you're out of state, all right? So the bond will be double for whatever charges uh, that are going to be on that affidavit. Now you're going to pay to get back to the airport. Well, you can't come back here for a year, remember? I got to fly out of here. No, you're going to have to find another place to fly out of, either Sanford or Tampa, okay? You can't fly out of here. You, you, you can't come here for another year, okay? You're being trespassed. You understand? So I got a trespassing ticket. Yeah, you, it's a trespass warning, which means you, you've been warned. All right, all right, all right. You got it? Okay. All right, thank all right. you. Ryan was hit with a slew of charges for his actions, including resisting an officer with violence, child abuse, domestic violence, battery, and disorderly intoxication. He was later released on a $2,250 bond, double the initial amount because he was out of state. If you enjoyed The Last Karen, this next one causing mayhem at the airport would leave you covering your ears at her screams. On March 2, 2021, Broward County Sheriffs got a call from Fort Lauderdale International Airport about a disgruntled female customer at the Spirit Terminal. The female, having had a few drinks, slept off and was unaware when her flight took off 45 minutes earlier. Rather than try to book another flight after she realized this, she began yelling and spitting and attempting to get violent with the employees. Law enforcement was notified promptly. What's up? She appears to be intoxicated. I can't put her in that manner. Okay. Bro, are you serious? Right. Las you Vegas flight? You call the You know, listen. Listen, you're not busy. Listen, I'm not intoxicated. I can get on the plane. I cannot afford the next ticket. So where the is the manager and who the paid for my next Ticket, because I'm manager. not paying for this. Shit. She is the manager. Okay, then you get paid for the fucking ticket for me to get to California, because I'm not paying for the. I'm perfectly fine. She, I'm she, not um, fucking uh, She was refunded. Yeah, yeah. I'm not refunded. No, they Pay for the next fucking. Pay for a period. Come talk to me, please. I'm right? talking to you, bro. Oh, know, they should have let me on this plane. Okay, She's what? being a. She Let's, fucked it. Let's start from the. It. Let's start from the beginning, all right? You want to start from the top? All right, yeah. What ha you, you obviously arrived here, and what happened when you got here? I don't know. I, I was literally sleeping. I listen, I'm standing right here. I was fucking sleeping, waiting for the the plane, bro. Oh, where? Over here? Literally right there, yes. Okay, so then what happened? Yes. So, then what happened? Well, you were sleeping. You woke up. I woke up to uh -huh. them complaining about me. I don't wait, wait. understand what, do what the were, problem is. What were they I just want to get on a plane. I just want to go home. All right. I just, let me let me see your ID so I can get some information. She what has my that? ID. No, she might have the no your driver's license or passport.
The female is identified as Miss Diaz through her passport. When she is asked to move away from the terminal to a more suitable place, she refuses to comply and within seconds commits a violent act. All right, so Thank Ms. you. Miss Diaz. Yes. Let's go, let's go talk up front. No, I want to talk right here. You can't Because I'm not going. I'm getting on the f***ing plane. So the door's closed. They can't reopen. I'm not paying for this shit. I'm not talking about I'm not paying Listen, for it. I'm, I'm not, not doing that. I'm not saying you have to pay for anything. No! I want to go home. I want to go home. And she's me the f***ing. <laughs> All right. If you don't stop now, you're just gonna have, you're gonna have to come with me and, and go to the, the county jail. If that's the if that's what you want, that's what we can do. It's up to you right now. Make a decision. What are you gonna put me in jail for? I, I'm for not, I haven't done anything illegal. For being in an airport, you're causing a disturbance. You can be arrested for that. If you want to do that, it's up to you. I'm giving you the option. You can either I listen. Go home. You can walk quietly. I want to go home. Miss Diaz, you can. You're not I want to go home. It's just being. Well, let's go. Come on. No, I want to go then you go, then no. you, It's either you go up front with me or you go to jail. It's one or the other. Despite officers already explaining to Diaz that she is causing a disturbance, Diaz commits another violent act. This results in her arrest and placement in handcuffs as per protocol. Where do you want me to go? What the oh, f***? you want me to talk about this shit? Oh, Yeah, back. No, I'm not getting arrested. No, I'm not getting arrested. No, no. I don't need to get arrested, bro. I'm fine. I'm listening to you. We're talking, bro. No, you're not listening. Okay, the handcuffs are on. I have to lock it. Relax. Got the you grab her stuff. Yeah. Are you detaining me? No, you're being arrested. Are you detaining me? Oh, yeah, and you're being arrested. Get disorderly found up. As Diaz is being taken away, she tries to plead her way out of the situation now that she sees she is in so much trouble. However, an officer reveals that she no longer has that option and has to face the consequences. Please, can we just talk about it all inside? Can we what? Can we just talk about whatever it is we're talking about all inside? I gave you like four or five opportunities. Do you have your computer? I have, I, my, I have my laptop, yeah. Probably print it from mine. We'll try it. I gave you like four or five opportunities to walk and talk with me. And then you, you kept throwing a fit, then you started to walk, then you threw your stuff on the ground, everybody's looking at you, you have to go to jail. Please. We're in an airport. Please. We're not at the friggin' county, we're not at the park. Even when Diaz reveals that she has no money to bail herself out, it doesn't change the mind of the officer. The law is the law, and it must be obeyed. I don't want anyone here having nothing. I don't have any money. I'm not even going to be able to bail myself out. <laughs> please, please, please. Please, sir. <laughs> please. Please. I have any man. I don't have any money. I can't bail myself out. <laughs> <laughs> Just before being placed in the squad car, Diaz is patted down for any endangering objects. Nothing of the sort is found, although she doesn't make the process any bit easy for the officer. Let me pat her down first for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You got it? I got it. Thank you. I wasn't doing anything. I was literally sleeping. I was literally sleeping. I don't know why they got so mad. <laughs> Please. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me? No, or anything? I just want to go home. Please. Please, and let me go to California. Please. Please. Please, please. Please. <laughs> Are you 
you serious? Please, please let me stay. Please. Please, I don't have anyone to bail me out. I can't afford to bail me out. Please. At the county jail, Diaz was charged with public intoxication, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. She is later released on bond. This next Karen's insane meltdown shows why consuming too much alcohol isn't advisable for anyone. On March 17, 2023 in Texas, officers were called to the airport regarding a woman who assaulted a gate agent. Upon arrival, they observed her in an altered mental state, displaying emotional distress and incoherent mumbling. It turns out that she had consumed some alcohol, which also made it difficult for her to locate her identification when officers requested it. Hey, hold on just a second. Hold on. What's going on? Hey. What's going on? Huh? Can you talk to me? Can you talk to me? What's going on? Huh? What's going on? It's just a good little mobile. Huh? It's just a good mobile, Alabama. Okay, Mobile, Alabama. Yeah. Okay. So why didn't you go to Mobile? Uh, my flight's leaving in a minute. Huh? Do you have a panic attack? Yeah. Probably just go ahead and panic. Oh, a minute. It's leaving. Okay, start speech. It's leaving. Huh? It's leaving in a minute. Okay. In a minute, my flight. Hey, let me, hey, answer my question. Have you had something to drink today? Yeah. Alcoholic beverages? Yeah. Where at? Just in the bar. This bar right over here? Yeah. How many did you have? Two. Three. You had two drinks? Yeah. What kind? Um, Remember? Um, I had two whiskey sours. Whiskey, whiskey sours? sours? Yeah. Just two? Yeah. Okay, have you got your driver's license? Do you have your driver's license? Yeah. I don't know where it is. Huh? I don't know where Look it in is. your wallet. Okay. I don't know where it is. Well, look in your wallet. It's, I mean, it's got to be in your bag somewhere. Is that your wallet right there? Yeah. Can you need my license? Yeah, your driver's license. Okay, your wallet's right there. It's in her purse. I just put a license in her purse. In her purse? Yes. Her purse? Yes. Look in your purse. No, it's a, it's a black purse. Okay, I need you to get your driver's license out. Yeah, I'm not going to go in her bag. We don't have, we don't have authority. Just right there. I don't know where my license is. Look in your look in your purse. That's where it's at. See it right there? See it right there? Yeah. Yeah. Grab it. The woman is questioned on why she acted violently towards the gate agent. She denies doing so despite multiple witnesses claiming she did. However, she does admit to taking more alcohol than she initially revealed. Hit the gate agent? No, I didn't. Huh? I didn't hit him. You didn't touch him? No. No? Oh, oh, I was scared. Huh? I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. Oh. Can you tell me again how many drinks you had? I had four. Huh? Four. You had four? Yeah. Okay, before it was two, now it's four. You remember? Yeah, it's been three or four. It's been three or four, okay. Have you had anything to eat today? No? Okay, have you taken any medication? No medication. Okay, on a scale from zero, would be not being intoxicated at all, to ten, being the most intoxicated you've ever been, where do you think you are? Five or six. Five or six, okay, all right. Um, did she make contact with you at all? I know she swung at you, but, but she, no, I mean, she, 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 she never like made contact. She just swung at you. She was just upset doing yeah. this, but I, yeah. I moved away. Yeah, so she, so she didn't like, give you a, 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 a Mike Tyson handmaid no. or anything like that. Okay.
Officers find out that the woman is unaware of her location after she places a call to her son. As a precautionary measure, medics are called to make sure she is all right before she is arrested. Her son was also informed of her condition and updated on the next step that would be taken on the matter. Hello. Do you know where you're at right now? Yeah, I'm in Detroit. You're in Detroit? You're, you're close. Hey, you're Patrick. only halfway across the country right now. Patrick, you're in Dallas. I'm in Dallas. Yeah, that's a little bit far away from Detroit. So I take it your son's not here then. He's going to be here. He's going to be here. He'll be in Mobile. He'll be in Mobile? Where are you flying to? Mobile. Mobile? So uh, she was having a panic attack. She's been drinking. We just recovered. I'll check her out. Make sure she's okay. And, uh, and we'll probably yeah. take her. So. Okay. Is it okay if we take your vitals? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. So he's just he does what you guys Hello. do. Hello. Patrick. Firefighter. Hey, is this Patrick? Hey. So this is Officer Lambert there at DFW Airport Police Department. We are out with, I'm um, guessing, your mother right now, Ms. Uh, yeah, Laura. Samuel Allen. So she is uh, severely intoxicated right now, and she did try to uh, strike the American Airlines gate attendant a couple times, so I'm just going to kind of be blunt with you. She's probably going to be coming with us for public intoxication, so she's going to be going to jail for a little bit until she shows up. That is correct. What? Pretty much until she sobers up, we deem her that she's alright to take care of herself. And it's basically on the same line as a speeding ticket, but the reason that she's going in handcuffs is because uh, she's got to be under our watching care so she doesn't harm herself or anyone else. Yeah, it's, it's going to be around like a $300 ticket essentially, but like I said, she's got to go in handcuffs because uh, just based off of her actions, she's not okay to be by herself right now. When placed in handcuffs, the woman puts on such a heavy display of drama that she gets warned not to act violently. Despite her struggles, officers manage to find a way to take her away out of the airport. Hey, Laura, can you stand up for me? You need some help? Appreciate it. Here. Turn around for us. Go ahead and turn around for Oh, my God. 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 Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Trying to kick. Alright, I need you to sit up in the chair. Come on. I need to pee so bad. Ah! 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 I need to pee so bad. Ah! I need to pee. Listen, don't kick don't us. Do Come on. Come on. What sit up. Come on, Laura. Sit up. Sit down. <laughs> 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 As officers approach the squad car with the woman, she violently kicks out at one of them prior to being searched as per protocol. Her violent act is surely going to get her an extra charge. No! 
Get your foot. If you want to stand up, we're going to help you stand oh, up. Make stand up. Help me stand up, mother Okay. Inside the squad car, the woman refuses to sit calmly for the ride to the station. She attempts to free herself from the restraining seatbelt, screaming loudly to be let go, but it does nothing to change the fact that she is going to jail. At the station, the woman gets charged with resisting arrest without violence and public intoxication and might be hit with a ban from the airport. For this next video, this male Karen act isn't what you would see coming. Keep watching. On September 6, 2021, a passenger identified as 61-year-old Timothy Armstrong boarded an American Airlines flight from Los Angeles International Airport to Salt Lake City. While in transit, Armstrong had multiple drinks and refused to remain in his seat. He also became combative with the flight attendants, even asking to be let off the plane. His actions were recorded by another passenger, and it subsequently went viral.
That's all in your feet. Not satisfied with throwing insults at the staff, Armstrong starts to make gestures at the flight attendants. Yeah, that's what you think about us. That is exactly what you think about us. God bless America. Police officers boarded the plane after landing and placed a mumbling Armstrong in handcuffs. But just as they take him away, he falls down the landing stairs and blames one of them for his fall. Turns out that the fall led to Armstrong getting a nasty cut on his head with blood spilling out. He sure would need medical attention for that. I keep on saying, any of time, I show you step back. Look up, that's up. You get a step me. I'm going to step back. Why? Why? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't understand. Despite being injured, Armstrong refuses to stay calm. He also keeps mumbling more incoherent statements that keep officers confused and unable to question him properly about his antics on the airplane. Oh, oh, ah, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down.
Paramedics later transported Armstrong to an area hospital where he was treated for the bleeding cut on his head. He was then given a criminal citation for public intoxication and disorderly conduct by the officers. Thanks for watching. Until next time.